are untouchable. We are unstoppable and we are undisputed. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. This is my second video of 2019. I said my upload schedule was going to get better this year, uh, but it's the week before finals at school, so uh, that's great. Uh, I gotta study a lot, work on projects, just wrap all that up at school, but uh, that shouldn't be an excuse. I need to get my upload schedule back, like I said I was going to for one of my New Year's resolutions, but yet and again, I've only uploaded like twice this year and it's already like January 16th. But I'm not gonna make excuses. I need to change and I know it. But enough about that, we got a box here from Ringside Collectibles. So that's a great way to cheer me up after uh, a long day of studying and uh, you know finals coming up. It's always nice to come home to a package from Ringside. So let's see what Ringside has in store for us today. We've got the knife ready. Trying a bit of a new setup here. Lately in my videos I've been uh, standing sort of on this angle where you guys have all the stuff in the background. I kind of like this better than doing like uh, the straight on with the shelves behind me. But anyways. I haven't tried it sitting down yet, so this is a bit of a new thing. We've got a box absolutely full of figures. I think you guys can sort of see it. We got a lot in here. I think we've got two Elite sets, and we do have another figure, which I guess we'll start with. We do have the uh, Entrance Greats Elias, which I believe is the last Entrance Greats figure. I think they're getting rid of the line again, even though it only came back for like five figures. We had Jeff Hardy, we had Kurt Angle, we had Bobby Roode. We had Goldberg, but we've got Elias. It's his second Elite. This time he's got white pants. He's got a different scarf. His guitar's got a bit of a different look to it. He's got the new face scan technology, and he finally does have a stool, so you don't have to just use like an ordinary chair for him to sit down. And of course, since it is the entrance grades, it does have a voice box, but instead of playing Elias' entrance music, it plays a song of him singing, I guess. Uh, it's only on demo mode right now, of course, because I haven't taken it out of the box, but I guess I'll play it for you guys. Hopefully it's not too muffled by the box, but uh, yeah, I guess it'll say more whenever I uh, take it out of the box and uh, hit the switch on it. But yeah, we've got the Entrance Greats Elias. So getting into some other figures we have in here, I believe we have the full sets of Elite Series 65 and 66. They're all just kind of mixed in here, so we'll just go one by one. It doesn't really matter what order they're in. So first of all, we do have the Elite Series 65 Nia Jax. This is her attire from WrestleMania this year. It's got three switchable heads, which is a... Uh, Pretty interesting. I'm not too big of a fan on the one that's on her right now. I think that's the uh, first Nia Jax head scan we had, but the other two do look a lot better. So yeah, we've got uh, the Elite Series 65 Nia Jax. And up next, we've got also from Elite 65, we have got Rusev with the uh, Happy Rusev Day shirt. I'm not sure how I feel about this figure, honestly. I still feel like they haven't like nailed Rusev's face scan and his likeness yet, but I think this is... I guess sort of a step up. I do like his one long haired head scan, but yeah, I think this Rusev figure does look pretty nice. The attire's looking alright, the uh, the Rusev shirt's great to have, interchangeable hands. So yeah, we do have a uh, happy Rusev day attire Rusev. And up next, I believe this one, yeah, this one is from Elite Series 66, so we're all kind of mixed in with this box. But we do have Harper from the Bludgeon Brothers, and I think I can see his tag team partner. Yep, there is Rowan. I've heard a lot of good things about people who have already received these figures from ringside and they definitely look like they're uh, really well done. Lots of accessories in there, uh, the likeness seems pretty strong, but yeah, I think I'll have to get them out of the packaging in order to take a uh, better look at them, but I'm very excited to uh, take a look at the Bludgeon Brothers. I think they look uh, pretty amazing. I think these were pretty uh, highly anticipated elites uh, since they had uh, such a such an attire change whenever they became the Bludgeon Brothers. and. Uh, it's a very extensive costume, I guess. But yeah, we've got rubber coats with them. They've got their hammers and interchangeable hands. Rowan has his mask, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. We've got the Bludgeon Brothers, Harper and Rowan. And up next, we've got another from Elite Series 66, and this is Kurt Angle. It looks like mine's sort of falling out of his box, but this is his attire from Survivor Series? Yeah, 2017's Survivor Series. He's got a rubber raw shirt. I wish that was cloth, but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, it's the head scan, I'm not huge on. He's got interchangeable hands with like the the number one on each one for his entrance. So it's a pretty cool figure. It's not going to be uh, my favorite Kurt Angle, I don't think. I think Elite 59 is uh, still going to be my favorite. But yeah, I think this uh, this is a pretty nice figure. And up next, we've also got, I believe from Elite 66, we have got AJ Styles. Another AJ Styles Elite, but I'll take it honestly. Uh, for the first time, he's got his uh, open hands so he can do his... Uh, 
pose as well as I believe they have the logos on the inside of the glove so that looks pretty cool. He's got his uh, new head scan with uh, some really long hair so I do like that a lot. Not too big on the rubber shirt, I've done a WWE Championship in case we don't have enough of those already. Oh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice looking AJ Styles Elite. I'm excited to get into the package and uh, test out those hands, take a look at that head scan. That uh, looks like a pretty decent figure from the outside of the box. And up next, we have got from Elite Series 65, this is her first Elite, which I am uh, very excited about. This one's definitely very highly anticipated. I know uh, my friend Wyatt's going to be pretty jealous. But I do have the Elite 65 Ronda Rousey from when she signed her uh, contract. We've already got a basic Ronda Rousey, which I've actually got hung on my wall. I didn't end up opening that. Maybe I'll open it whenever I open this one, but I think the Elite does look a lot better. We've got sort of the contract signing sort of setup. She's got a contract, a pen, a table, and a tablecloth. So yeah, that's Ronda Rousey. I am excited for that, uh, the new series that they're starting up with her and Ultimate Warrior. I forget what exactly what they're called. Or it's like Ultimate Edition or something like that, and they have lots of articulation, so I'm excited for that. I'm also excited to get her uh, first Elite in uh, ring attire. I think that'll be a very different, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. And up next here, we've got the Elite Series 66 Fight Anyone Kevin Owens. That matches the uh, recent Elite Sami Zayn that we got. Uh, but yeah, we have Kevin Owens. He's got his Yep 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 shirt, interchangeable hands, Fight Anyone attire. I believe he does have a Chase variant in the KO Mania 3 attire, but I did not end up picking that up. I did get the... Uh, just the fight anyone attire, maybe I'll get the chase variant down the line, but yeah, this figure does look pretty amazing. And they finally did fix the issue with him having extremely big arms. So that's a, that's a plus. Thank you, finally, Mattel. And up next, we have got two quarters, or I guess I could just say half, of Sanity. We've got Eric Young from Elite Series 65, and we've got Nikki Cross from Elite Series 66. I believe the other two are going to be store exclusive, so those are going to be a pain to get here in Canada, but I think I got the, I got the leader of the group and I got Nikki who's sort of like not in the group right now and she's like on her own I guess, sort of, not really. Who knows, I hope she puts a, I hope they do put her back with Sanity, but yeah we do have Eric Young and Nikki Cross, I'll uh, try to complete Sanity, I don't know that I'll end up doing that, but uh, yeah we've got Eric Young and Nikki Cross here from Elite 65 and Elite 66. And up next in here, we've got the Elite Series 65 Roman Reigns in the red attire. Uh, red's my favorite color, so I was looking forward to getting a red attire Roman Reigns. It's got the Intercontinental title and the uh, interchangeable hands like that, so that's uh, kind of neat. We did get that with the recent Samoa Joe, so I'm excited to have it for Roman Reigns. But yeah, my favorite part of this figure has got to be the attire. I'm a big uh, fan of red, so I'm glad that we did get an Elite Roman Reigns in his red attire. Uh, so yeah, that is the Elite Series 65 Roman Reigns. And up next, we've got the final figure in the box, and that is the Elite 65 Aiden English to go with the Elite 65 Rusev. This figure looks pretty alright. Um, he's lost a lot of steam since uh, separating with Rusev. I don't think too many people care too much for Aiden English now. Uh, but it is an uh, alright looking Elite figure. I didn't have a figure of him before. The cloth shirt is really nice. The scarf's nice. His head scan looks pretty decent. He's got a microphone, his uh, sunglasses, and his like uh, singing hands or whatever. It looks uh, it's pretty interesting. So we got the Elite Series 65 Aiden English. And those are all of the figures that Ringside sent us over today. If you guys want to go over there and uh, buy any figures and also support the channel, you can use the discount code UNDISPUTED at checkout. It'll save you 10% on all purchases. Elite 67, I believe, just went up for pre-order. They got some really amazing ones in that lineup. I'm very excited to get the first ever Velveteen Dream Elite. So if you want to pick those up, they're up for pre-order. I'll have a link down in the description below. But that's going to do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to never miss an upload. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.